Hello, welcome back to Whiskey Wednesday. Another Wednesday, another whiskey review with me, Joe. So, continuing my series of Master of Malt Darkness reviews, uh, I've got another Ben Rins for you actually. Um, this time, it is a 15 year old Oloroso matured Ben Rins. It's the same age, but Oloroso sherry rather than Pedro Jimenez. Uh, now, as I said last week in my 15 year old Ben Rins, PX finish. Um, the Master of Malt Darkness bottlings, what they're doing with those, they're taking whiskies and then finishing them in sherry casks that have been specially made that are 50 litres. So they're small casks, which basically increases the surface area for maturation. A three month finish. So this has been bottled at 52.9% volume. Now, Oloroso sherry, it kind of ranges from kind of dry kind of medium sweet, so you do get different styles of Oloroso. So let's give this a go. So this, I can imagine, is going to be quite different um, to the Pedro Jimenez cask one I tried last week. Um, please keep those comments flooding in about kind of how you found out about my videos. I talked a little bit about last week, how I want to find out about, more about you guys and how you discovered my videos. It'd be fantastic to know. Um, so let's give it a go. Lovely kind of Almost like a copper colour to that one, look at that. Lovely copper colour. So let's give it a nose. Oloroso matured Benmans. It's completely different. Okay, the nose in this one. Getting red glacé cherries. Red berries. Like the doorbell's just gone. Red berries. Oh, pancakes, almost like a kind of a savoury note. It's pancakes. A bit of spice, it kind of it smells a lot fresher, so kind of sweet cloves. Maybe a bit of maybe a bit of lemon. And a slight and a slight kind of saltiness there as well. So yeah, just to go over that again, I'm getting kind of red glacé cherries, so there's that sweetness there, red berries, dried, red dried fruits, pancakes. Sweet cloves, a little bit of citrus. All right, let's give it a taste. Wow, I mean, that couldn't be more different to the PX Finish one that I had last week. And that's what I love about whiskey. They've taken whiskey from the same distillery, same age, put it into two different styles of sherry barrels to mature for three months, and it's just completely changed the style. This one, it's a complete mix of dry and sweet. So you get, kind of starts as sweet, then goes dry, then goes sweet a bit. It's like a, almost like a roller coaster on your palate. Um, I need to give it another taste to get some flavour notes for you. It's just such a different whiskey, and it shows shows the kind of nature of Oloroso as well. It's that kind of balance between dry and sweet. Um, so let's give it another taste. Mmm. Really, really tastes like sherry. Lots and lots of wine notes, kind of red wine, um, brandy sauce. I get as well. There's, like, there's that kind of sweetness coming back again. And this is one of the one of the first whiskies I've had in a while, actually. That you can taste that kind of acidity that you associate with wine. When you're tasting wine, you talk about the acidity. You go, oh, you know, it's kind of it's medium dry, or it's got a good acidity, which means you can kind of it feels refreshing, kind of makes your mouth water. Um, and it does that, this whiskey has got an acidity, it's got really balanced, it's kind of mouth-watering, it's refreshing. Um, flavour notes I'm getting kind of again dried red fruits that I've got on the nose. Um, I'm getting that clove spice again. Um, a little bit of dry oak as well. Um, one more taste for the finish. And so, as it kind of develops, there's flavours of Christmas cake there, 
going to be quite specific here and say Christmas cake that's been that's left to go a little bit stale, but in a good way. Um, the finish is again dry, but because of that acidity, it's refreshing. And that's one thing I will say about this whiskey. Um, pardon the pun, but it is refreshingly different. <laughs> Can't believe I just said that. Yeah, it's it's a refreshingly different whiskey. Um, it's got, I think, for me, because of that acidity, it does drink like a sherry, that kind of crispness that you get with certain sherries. Um, really, really good little dram. For me, for my palate, it's not quite as good as the one last week, um, but it's a really, really good little dram. Uh, 7 out of 10, I would give that. Really, really drinkable, really interesting, that lovely, refreshing acidity. Can't keep, can't stop going on about it, to be honest. Um, so that was the Ben Rins 15-year-old Oloroso Darkness bottling. Um, please let me know what you think. Um, leave a comment if you've tried it. Um, and I'll see you next week, guys, for some more Darkness whiskey reviews. Cheers, guys. Bye-bye.